The Dustin Hoffman paradox. I just read that, how many of you heard about the, the film Meet the Fockers? Dustin Hoffman was in the, in the film. The, the, the third film is coming out. They did the original, they did the second one. The third one's coming out soon. Dustin Hoffman was going to be in the third movie. However, he read the script, he met with the director, he decided, you know, I don't really think I want to do this one. He just decided he didn't want to do it. And he spent the day with the director, and at the end of the day he said to the director, you know, he'd worked with him before, he said, I like you, I like working with you, I'm just not going to do this. I don't want you to dislike me because I don't want to do your, this project, but I'm not going to do this project. The director, in his wisdom, said, okay, fine, we'll work with that. They shot the entire movie. Dustin Hoffman was not in it. They did a preview screening. Dustin Hoffman came to the preview screening. He said, you know, I really wish I were in this movie. The director went, we can work with that. They, they reshot his scenes. A year later, after the film was finished, they shot his scenes exactly as they were written a year earlier. He just changed his mind. There was no, and the director said, okay, fine, we'll work with this. The studio said, you want the money? Dustin's in, that's great. I bring this up because as a leader, the, the director was great in his ability to say, okay, you, you're Dustin Hoffman, that's fine. And, it was there, and they were great to say at the end, even though you said no, now you say yes, actually it all works for us, we'll, we'll do that. So again, what kind of business is this? It's a, it's a business where there's big bucks, but it's very much about, in Dustin's mind, how he felt, being in integrity with himself, making a decision that he had to, he had to make. Because most creatives I know, actors, writers, producers, directors, it's impossible for us to really commit creatively to a project that we hate. Because it just is. So Dustin Hoffman was like, there was no amount of money that could motivate him to do that. There was no amount of cars or anything. He had to want to do it. He just wasn't in the, I can't get into his mind. I don't know what his deal was. He just couldn't. And he knew that he couldn't be on camera being the great Dustin Hoffman if he didn't feel like doing it. 